Over the years of me running all kinds of online businesses, I've learned that the simplistic ones are usually the most profitable. And now with the rise of AI tools like ChatGPT, there's countless people making real income every single day and they're doing it by using simple websites like Google. So in today's video, I'm gonna break down exactly how it works, what's involved, and by the end of this video, you're gonna decide whether it's something that you want to start or not. And to quickly demonstrate exactly how this side hustle works, let's assume that I'm a normal customer that's thinking about buying a new wireless charger for my iPhone. I may go into Google just like this and enter this search term. And what this says is, is it worth buying a MagSafe charger for your iPhone 16 Pro? Again, like any normal person would. So I'm gonna click on Google search. Let's see what results come back. Okay, so if I just scroll down just like this on the first page of Google, there's this website that I wanna point out where they posted this blog article over a year ago. So if I just click into it. Okay, so we can see that it's a regular Shopify store. You know, it's a regular blog article. They're giving the reader all the information that they should expect to get based on the blog that they just clicked into. So as you can see, it's well structured. But the interesting thing about this website is that if I just go over here, we can see that they've got all of these different featured products on the side. So I'm gonna click on this one. So on the surface, most customers would see this and think that this is a website that's manufacturing their own wireless chargers. You know, everything looks professional. They're selling it for $59 down from $100. But what's interesting about websites just like this is that if I just go over to AutoDS and I'm just going to type in the keyword of this product, which is wireless charger. And I'm also going to select the supplier. Let's go with AliExpress. If I just scroll down slightly, it doesn't take too long for me to find the exact same product. So if I just open it up, yep, it's definitely the exact same product. As you can see on AutoDS, it's available for me to buy right now at $36. However, on the website, they're selling it again for $59. And I'm definitely sure that if I was to spend a little bit more time and scroll through AutoDS, I'm gonna be able to find another supplier that's probably going to offer it at 10, 15, maybe $20. And bear in mind that when it comes to this side hustle, you don't need to buy the inventory in bulk. The beauty of it is that you only buy the item whenever you make a sale. So if you wanted to list this for around $70, you could do so and whenever you make a sale you're just going to come onto auto ds and purchase it for 36 dollars and of course all of this can be automated in the back end but the main point that i'm trying to get across to you is that the website that i showed you they've been able to get free traffic onto their site by posting these different blog articles and because they're consistent when doing so because if i just go over to their site i'm just going to click on blogs as you can see over here they're posting brand new articles multiple times a day. And they're also posting all of these different articles in different languages for them to reach multiple different potential customers. And it's definitely working because if I just click into my similar web extension tool, we can see that the monthly visits are over 300,000. And most of you right now are probably thinking, Sam, just because they're getting 300,000 people, it doesn't mean that the majority of it is coming from search. Well, if we scroll down on this extension tool, we can see right here that the number one source of traffic is by search. So I'm sure that you get the point as to how powerful this is. If you're able to consistently post SEO rich blog articles onto your website, you're gonna give yourself the best chance of being able to get free organic traffic. And the reason why I decided to go with this type of store where they're selling all of these different wireless chargers is because I actually built a store using an AI store builder. I went through the entire process of signing up, selecting what niche I want my store to be centered around, of course, electronics and gadgets. You know, I went through the process of making sure that I integrated all of the different apps, followed all of the steps, took me about three minutes for me to go from start to finish. And once I was done, I was able to gain access to this store. And if I just click into it, just like this, as you can see, this is the store that it was able to build for me. And the product that was loaded to the store is this three in one wireless charger for most iPhone models. So I made some slight changes to the site, but for the most part, you're gonna be able to get a similar site like this up and running in a quick amount of time, where it's gonna be preloaded with winning products that are already connected to suppliers all around the world. And there is gonna be some stuff that you need to do on the back end to make sure that your website is ready. You're gonna to have to go through the process of getting the right domain, setting up your payment processes, 
making sure that you've also set up all of your policy pages as well. I'm not gonna bore you with that side of things in today's video because I recently created a completely free course and in that free course, I walk you through step by step exactly what you need to do once your site has been built. I'm going to leave that free course in the description down below. You can check it out. Anyone's free to join and it may not be free for the foreseeable future. So be sure to get in there whilst you can. And I'm also going to leave all the information for the AI store builder as well. But once your site is up and running and you're ready to start driving customers to it, there's a number of different ways that you can do that. But of course, in today's video, we're going to be focused on generating blogs using GPT-5. So if I just go over here and click on the blog page, we can see that there's obviously no blogs because it's a brand new website. So the main thing that I wanna quickly do is show you what I would personally do when it comes to crafting the best blog possible. I'm gonna be showing you the manual method and I'm also gonna be explaining the automated method where you can get blog articles published on your website every single day without you having to lift a finger. So first thing first, what I'm gonna do is just go over to ChatGPT and I'm just gonna enter this prompt that says, give me 20 blog articles that can rank well in Google search for a store selling wireless iPhone chargers. Also give me the top five keywords that need to be included in the article for it to rank well. So this is pretty straightforward. I'm sure you guys get the point. I'm just doing this just to get an idea of the best article for me to write and eventually I'm gonna end up writing all of them, but I'm just gonna start off with one. So let me click on enter. Okay, so just like that, I've now got these different article titles that I can choose from. Now, because I'm just showing you all of this as an example, I'm not gonna spend too much time showing you what I would do when it comes to double checking if the blog is worth writing or not, because you don't have to stress too much about that because ChatGPT is gonna do the work for you. So what I'm gonna do is just pick one of these different articles at random. Let me go with this one over here. I'm gonna go with number 10, wireless charging for iPhone, does it affect battery lifespan? This is definitely something that a lot of people probably consider, you know, is it worth getting a wireless charger or not? So whatever product that you're selling, you know, these are the type of things that you wanna think about. Is it an article that a lot of people are interested in reading? So I'm gonna go with this one. So now that I know that this is the article that I'm gonna move forward with, I'm just gonna move on to the next prompt, which is going to be this one. It's a little bit more advanced, but it's basically got the structure of how I need the blog to look for it to be presented well on my Shopify store. Stick with me because all of this is going to make sense. So what I'm saying here is write a 1000 word SEO optimized blog post with the title. So I'm just going to copy the title like that and I'm gonna paste it in there like this. And for the target keyword, I'm just going to get basically the name of the product. We're gonna put it in there like that. And again, everything else in this prompt is for the formatting of the article. If you wanna find this exact prompt, I'm gonna leave it in the description down below so that you can replicate what I'm doing. But for the most part, that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna click on enter. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, ChatGPT has now started writing the article. Don't worry too much if it looks like code or if it looks a bit intimidating. This is really simple because you're just gonna have to wait for it to finish. And once it has finished, you're just going to copy the code just like that. Then what you need to do is go back over to your Shopify store. And for you to post this blog article, you're just gonna click on content on the left-hand side. Then you're gonna go over to blog post and then click on create blog post. And it's gonna be in this section where you're going to insert all of the information for the article that you're working on. So what I'm gonna do first and foremost is click on show HTML in the corner and you're just gonna paste all of the code in there just like this. Then what you need to do is just paste the title in there just like that. And finally, you now need to get the image or the main cover image that you're going to use when it comes to people seeing the blog article on your website. And to do that, you can go over to a copyright free website like Pexels, or what you can do is stay on ChatGPT and use it to make the image. A lot of people don't know that they can do this, but all you're going to need to do is enter a prompt like this, where all I'm saying is, can you create a main cover image for this blog article for me to use on my Shopify store? Make it look realistic and relatable to the topic. Do not include any text. So I'm just going to enter this and 
hopefully it's going to be able to do a good job okay here we go so it's already started working on the image right now the reason why i recommend this is because you're going to be able to get a unique image that doesn't exist on the internet if you was to go over to pexels which isn't bad to do but if you did do that you're going to end up using an image that someone else is already using but just like that as you can see the image has now been created it looks really good looks realistic and all you're going to need to do from this point is just download it. I've already done that and I've already added it to the blog article as you can see. And I've also inserted the link directly to the product page as well. So everything is ready to go. As you can see, it's a decent article. I do need to advise you that when it comes to using ChatGPT, you may not want to solely rely on it. Maybe read through it, change it up. You know, there's ways that you can humanize it. There's ways that you can update the blog article if you're not happy with it. But I'm just trying to give you guys the simplistic blueprint that other people are using, that many of my students are using and they're seeing success from. So this is the article right here. What I'm going to do is click on preview. And here we go. This is the end product. This is what the reader is going to see. They're going to be able to go through it, get all of this information on the topic that the article is about. And of course, when they're reading through it, they're going to be able to click into any one of these different links. So there is this link over here. Let me just click into this one. Of course, it's now going to take the person directly to the product page where they're going to be able to add the item to their cart and check out straight away. So yeah, that's basically what goes into it. Not complicated whatsoever. Blogs have been around for many, many years, but as I've shown you, there's still sellers out there that are capitalizing from it, from selling these different products that they don't even need to ship out themselves. Using softwares like AutoDS, if someone was to buy this item from the store right now, it's going to automatically be shipped out without me having to do anything. So it's definitely a decent side hustle. And as I said before, what I just showed you is the manual way of doing things. There's an automated way that you can publish blog articles so that you don't have to sit there, copy and paste in all this text. You don't have to generate a new image every single time. Everything is going to be done automatically by GPT-5. And this is something that I actually break down in my completely free course. I show you exactly how to set all of this up, how to connect your website to a Google search console account, which is actually an integral part of this whole thing. Because if you don't do that, Google isn't going to know that your website exists, which means that they're not going to be able to rank it in the Google search results. So I show you how to do that. I also show you how you can set up the automation using make.com. This is one of the biggest automation softwares out there within the world of AI. It's free to use to my knowledge. I don't believe you need to pay for it. There's just going to be a setup that's going to be involved to make sure that you do it right. To kind of break it down for you, one of the initial steps is to make sure that you've got a list of all of the different articles that you want the make automation to automatically publish every single day. And that's going to be with a Google spreadsheet. As you can see with this pet dropshipping store that I was working on, I've got this list of different blog articles, the SEO keyword, the products that I want to promote in each different article. And the way that it works is that every single row in the spreadsheet is a brand new day. So I can fill the spreadsheet with 50 articles. I can fill it with 100, 360, maybe 700, whatever the case is. And a brand new article is going to go out every single day as per my requirements. And the way that you're going to set that up is going to be with the next module, which is going to be ChatGPT. And it's going to be within here where you're going to enter the prompt. And the thing that I like about make.com is that everything is going to be mapped. So you can connect this module to the spreadsheet so that it knows exactly what title to write, what keyword to focus on, what product to promote. You know, everything is going to be connected as it should. From there, the third module is going to be ChatGPT once again, and it's going to be the image generation one. So this is where the image is going to be made. And finally, everything is going to be uploaded and published directly onto your Shopify store. So that's basically what goes into the automated method. Again, if you want to find all of the details, all of the steps, you're going to find it in the completely free course in the description down below. But I do want to add one more thing, which is that with all of these different blog articles that you're going to be posting, the number one goal isn't just to get ranked in Google. Of course, Google is the biggest website. It's the biggest search engine in the entire world. So it's definitely something that you want to do. But with these different blog articles, you can use them as a way for you to get people on your website through platforms like Facebook, Instagram or TikTok. If you're able to publish educational blog articles and 
also post video content, image content on all of these different social media platforms. That's another way that you can drive traffic to your website and hopefully the products that you're selling and fingers crossed, you're going to be able to turn those readers into paying customers. But yeah, guys, I would say that those are the most important things that you need to know when it comes to capitalizing from all of these different AI generated blog articles. If you found any value in this video, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know once a new video has been released. And if you want to watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago, where in this video, I show you some other AI side hustles that not that many people are talking about but yet so many people are able to make a lot of money from them. You're gonna be able to watch that video by clicking the link right there. Check that out straight after this. It's helped out so many people and I'm sure if you're able to watch it from start to finish, it's also gonna help you out too. But as always guys, I'm gonna catch you on that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.